Okay, we're back with another video for Android. Uh, today's video, we're going to jump into the Android market. Um, I, right now, I still have the stock uh, Sprint look on my phone, but in some later videos, I'll be changing the look of it because personally, I don't like the way that looks, and I'm sure there will be other people out there that don't like the way it looks either. And there are some disadvantages to this uh, layout, which I'll explain later. Um, most of those customizations that I'm going to do are going to involve downloading some third-party apps from the Android Marketplace. So this video is going to cover primarily the Android Market. So as you can see, it's this little icon right here. It says Market. It's a little shopping bag with the Android logo on it. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into that. I'll touch that. And okay. Here's the Android Market. On top we have this kind of carousel of uh, I guess featured applications and then down here we have some other applications as well um, these both change the applications up here in a little carousel as well as the applications down here change on a daily basis um, that doesn't mean they go away they just feature different apps every day so and then up here we have these little buttons um, there's some sprint centric apps with this one of course games on this one and then just apps in general on this one if we go into the apps just tap on that you see this brings up some categories of applications we have all applications and then they break it down by category books and reference business comics communication education entertainment finance health and fitness lifestyle live wallpapers media and video, medical, music and audio, personalization, photography, and so on and so forth. Um, lots of applications that you can put onto your phone to customize it. So just for the sake of this video, i um, going to download an app and automobile magazine news. Sure, why not? I like cars and who else doesn't? So we'll tap on that app. Takes you into the apps market page, and you can scroll down. There's a description. If you click on, if you press on more, we get some more info about this. Um, so you can collapse that by pressing the less button. Uh, a couple of screenshots for you here. You tap on one of them. It'll load a screenshot of what the app actually looks like. Hit this little arrow right here go on to the other screenshots so on and so forth so I'm just gonna use the back button down here and we keep scrolling down there's some reviews by users um, as well as applications that are similar to the app page that you're currently on and then some info about the developer uh, view more applications other apps that this developer has created you can email the developer, and if they have a web page, you can go to that. Um, and then you can flag stuff as inappropriate if you feel that it's something that shouldn't be in the marketplace, like spam or adware or something like that. Um, one quick thing I want to talk about before I install this, and I haven't covered it yet, but the fourth capacitive button down here in the bottom right corner, um, which is the little... Let's see, get some light on there. It looks like a little magnifying glass. This is a contextual search button. If you are in an application, for instance, here I'm in the marketplace, if I press a little magnifying glass, it will let me search for stuff in the Android market. As you can see in the search bar, it says search Android market. So we're going to do search. And just as an example, let's say we want to look for a live wallpaper. So we'll type live wallpaper. And you can see it's already kind of coming up with suggestions. So I'm going to minimize the keyboard with the keyboard button there. And let's just do live wallpapers for Android. Sure. So here we can see um, these are the live wallpapers you can get off of the marketplace 
And if you're not familiar with what a live wallpaper is yet, I can show you one of those at the end of this video real quick. Um, as you can see, I, I have purchased this one, so I don't think I have it downloaded. Yeah, I do. I downloaded it. So if you have something downloaded, it will say open or uninstall on the top here. Um, that's how you can know, you can tell if an application is on your phone already. Um, so I'm going to go back with the back button again to that page that I was looking at. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit install. It's free. Okay, now this screen, this will tell you what kind of things this app will do to your phone. This particular application, storage, modified, delete SD card contents. This is probably because it can save pictures to your memory card or it can save articles to your memory card for, you know, offline reading or something like that. Network communication, obviously it's a news app It's going to need to talk out to the internet, to the web to get articles, so that's why it needs that. Phone calls, read phone standard identity. This is usually so if you get a call and you're within an app, it will take you out of that app and take you to the phone so that you don't miss a call just because you're on you're in an app like this. So I'm going to go ahead and accept permissions, hit OK. And you see this little message down here says your item will be downloaded. And in the notification tray, you can see a little arrow kind of animation going on up there. I'm going to pull my notification tray down, and you can see Automobile Magazine News installing. So that's currently installing. If I click on that, touch that, um, oh, it's already installing, so it's not going to take me there. So I touched on it as it was installing, so it took me back to the home page here for that application. If I press menu, again, this is a contextual menu button, so it's going to give me menu options for whatever app I'm in, in this case, the marketplace. So let's go to my apps, and we should see uh, got some applications updating on their own that I have set to do that. So here's Automobile Magazine. It is installed on my phone. If I go into that, um, if you check this little guy right here, Allow Automatic Updating, it will run, um, if there's updates for it, they will install as soon as you open Marketplace or as soon as you power on your phone. Uh, I, I don't recommend doing that usually because if you have a lot of uh, applications and you set them all to update automatically, then if you're somewhere with spotty network connection or just not close to a charger, uh, once those updates start coming in, you're going to really take a hit on your battery. So, again, I, I don't recommend turning it on, but the option is there for you. So, let's go back. Um, and you do have the option to also uninstall from within here as opposed to going through the settings menu. So if I touch on that application again, I have the uninstall option up here. Also in my tray, uh, you can see a little notification from Market that it found updates for other applications that I have downloaded. And those usually will, notifications will come in when you turn your phone on and when you open up Marketplace, it'll give you that little message there letting you know that your applications have updates in the market. So if I touch on that, it will take me to the My Apps page and it'll put the little up update message here in orange next to the applications that have uh, updates available. This Facebook for Android application, you can see it says Update Manual. Uh, I've noticed applications or developers will do that to our applications if it's a really big update that's going to change the look. Um, in this case, I know for a fact uh, the update for Facebook that this is referring to 
Uh, you can see I gave it a one-star comment because I didn't like the updates that they made. But what this did was it brought a huge change to the user interface as well as push notifications that you can't turn off. Um, so I uninstalled those updates. You can see a couple other people giving it one-star ratings there, so not too many people happy with that. Um, so again, go back to my apps. It'll say update manual. If you have automatic updating for an app turned on and you get one of these, that means you need to actually go in and tell it, hey, I want to update this app. So I'm just going to go and uninstall this application since I have plenty of news apps on here already. I'm just going to hit uninstall. Asks you basically confirmation. Are you sure you want to uninstall this? Um, letting you know you can install it again for no charge. So just hit OK. And there we go. We're uninstalling the application. And then of course it asks you a little survey question. Um, don't want to use it. I need more space. It's effective. It's malicious. I'd rather not say. Um, we'll just go with I'd rather not say. Hit OK. And there we go. So that is a quick look at the Android Marketplace and we're going to start customizing our phone using some of these apps that I have downloaded on here. So more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.